This coffee shop in the Kenyan capital Nairobi is a popular meeting spot for businessmen and diplomats from Somalia. Many Somalis have run their lives and companies out of Nairobi for the past two decades of civil war, drought and disease. But security gains mean some are now heading back home. One of them is Abderashid Hashi, who worked for a non-governmental organization in Nairobi until last month. We have decided to go back to Somalia, back to Mogadishu, the capital, and establish a Somali think tank. The first in Somalia, Somali people in Mogadishu and around the world are very happy about the establishment of this new institute. And our primary objective is to influence the public policy and also to contribute to the culture of research and learning in Somalia. And this will be an institution that Somalis you know, will feel proud of in the long term. African Union forces have been successful in pushing back Al-Shabaab, an Islamist militia with links to Al-Qaeda and ambitions to rule Somalia. But that doesn't mean that the capital is safe. Hashi says the all-new Heritage Institute for Policy Studies needs armed guards for protection. If you compare uh, how the situation was 2009, 2010, 2011, Mogadishu is extremely doing good now, the security is good. Instead of, uh, you know, mortaries and shootings, the noise you hear is about the traffic and maybe music and people watching uh, football games in the theater. So it has improved a lot. I used to live in Mogadishu before in 2009-2010 and I think it's, it's just a huge change. The pessimism that has been the byword for Somalia is about to end and there's a lot of optimism. Somalia was chaotic for more than two decades. The formation of a new government last year has breathed new life into the country. But, according to Hashi, the new government has a long road ahead of it. I think everything is priority in Somalia now. Institution building, reconciliation, economic recovery, the constitution, federalism. The country has been, uh, you know, dismembered by the Somalis. We have clan, tribal frictionists. Uh, we have uh, regional uh, administrations that has been created in the past haphazardly. So we'll, we'll sort of try to be a watchdog, support the government when they are doing the right things, and tell them when they are not. And although it's going to be tough, Hashi is hopeful that the mood music in Mogadishu has changed for good. I think the most important thing in Somalia is Somalis themselves realize there is a hope and the situation of Somalia, especially the difficult circumstances the country has been in in the past two decades, could be reversed. I'm not expecting the Somalis will go back to the dark days of civil war and anarchy and turmoil because they have reached the bottom and now they just are standing up and moving forward. Abdurashid Hashi there, who says the opening of Somalia's first think tank marks another turning point for the country. For Monocle in Nairobi, I'm James Reinald.